An unexpected call surprised the Vaccarizzo Munoz family on December 21st, 2020. His 30-year-old daughter, Lisbeth Vaccarizzo, had suffered a tragic domestic accident that took her life. Desperation and pain took over Mario and Katie when they learned that their eldest daughter was no longer in this world. Without wasting any time, they quickly crossed the city of Guayaquil, Ecuador, to see her one last time. Upon arriving at the place, they met Lisbeth at the foot of the stairs, confirming with their own eyes the sad reality of her premature death. Despite their shock and the pain that overwhelmed them, they couldn't help but notice that something strange was happening around them. Lisbeth's husband and his family were present, insisting on personally taking care of the death procedures to allow them to grieve without worry. As the hours passed, they discovered that they were actually dealing with something much more terrible. Everything indicated that it was a staged scene and that Lisbeth had been murdered. Since that fateful December 21st, 2020, the Vaccarizzo Munoz family has become the protagonist of a horror story, fighting against corruption and political power, while their attackers remain free and Lisbeth has not yet obtained justice. Lisbeth Vaccarizzo was born in 1990 in the city of Guayaquil, capital of the province of Guayas, Ecuador. He spent his entire life there with his parents, Mario Vaquerizo and Katie Munoz, and his younger sister, Caria. During her school years, she attended an all-girls school, but occasionally participated in events with an all-boys school. At the age of 18, at a dance organized by the boys' school, Lisbeth met Luis Ermita Nunez. From that day on, the young people became friends and quickly discovered that their feelings went beyond simple friendship. Lisbeth and Luis fell in love and began an inseparable relationship. They wanted to do everything together, to the point that when it was time to go to university, they both enrolled in the same degree, commercial engineering at the University of Guayaquil. Lisbeth's parents were delighted with their daughter's choice. Luis was a polite, respectful, and kind young man, and he became another member of the Vaccarizzo Munoz family. However, when they had just begun their university studies, Luis proposed to Lisbeth, and she rejected him. The reason for her refusal was that her younger sister, Katia, had recently been diagnosed with leukemia. Lisbeth explained that her sister's illness had plunged the entire family into distress and that it was not the right time to get married, as she wanted to be present for them. Luis understood Lisbeth's reasons for postponing the marriage, and they decided to continue their courtship. Although he left for a few weeks due to rejection, everything soon returned to normal, and the young couple continued with their relationship while pursuing their university studies. As the end of the race approached and Katia recovered from her illness, Luis thought it was the right time to propose to Lisbeth again. However, once again, she rejected the proposal. On this occasion, he argued that it was more convenient to wait until he finished his studies. In addition, at that time, the young woman was taking other courses related to makeup and beauty while working as a model. Luis agreed to continue the relationship, but could not avoid distancing himself again. However, a few days later, he reflected and returned in search of the company of his girlfriend. Finally, after 11 years of relationship and having completed his studies, Luis proposed to Lisbeth for the third time. This time, the young woman accepted, and the wedding preparations began. In April 2019, the day Lisbeth Vaccarizzo and Luis Hermida Nunez had been waiting for arrived. They had dreamed of this moment for over a decade and had waited long enough to make it a reality. The celebration took place at the Basilica Nuestra Señora de la Merced in the city of Guayaquil. Hundreds of guests attended to witness the love and happiness the young people shared. After the wedding, they enjoyed their honeymoon in Mexico and then settled into a beautiful house in the Puerto Azul urbanization, a well-located residential area on the outskirts of Guayaquil. Since then, they began a new life together as spouses, full of happiness. Lisbeth constantly shared how happy she was with her husband through social media, and her family and friends agreed that they were a wonderful couple. 
However, within a few months of their marriage, Luis's attitude toward Lisbeth began to gradually change, becoming violent when they were alone at home. Although no one around him realized this reality, it soon came to light. On the night of December 21st, 2020, when there were just a few minutes left until the next day, Mario Vaquerizo and Katie Munoz received an alarming call that changed their lives. On the other end of the phone, Luis Hermida's father-in-law and father told them to go immediately to the house in Puerto Azul since Lisbeth had suffered a domestic accident and had been found dead. The call was cut off and Mario couldn't believe what they had just told him. He was so shocked that he even thought he had heard wrong. He then called Bolivar again, his consolation, to verify that what he had been told was true, but he received no response until Bolivar finally answered. The man repeated the information he had given them minutes before. Mario asked him to call 911 so that the paramedics could determine if the young woman was unconscious or truly lifeless. While they were on their way, Bolivar insisted that it was useless to call the emergency service, since the young woman had definitely died and asked them to hurry up. Screams of despair filled the Vaccarizzo neighborhood, alerting neighbors that something was wrong. The couple went out into the street, and when they were about to get into the car, a neighbor offered to take them, since they couldn't drive in that state. A few minutes later, they arrived at the house where Lisbeth and Luis had lived for a year. Upon entering, they found their daughter's body lying at the foot of the stairs and around her, a pool of blood. Katie threw herself on her body to caress her while insistently asking what had happened. He noticed that his hands were stiff. Luis and his family were also present at the scene. Everyone agreed that they had found her like that, but when Katie looked up and saw Luis's face, she realized that he was not telling her the truth. Luis had a wound on one of his eyebrows. Katie then asked again what had happened, as she wanted to know if they had had a fight. Luis told him that when he got home, he found Lisbeth dead, and that the wound on her eyebrow was the result of an assault he suffered on the street. Katie was too distraught to draw any conclusions at the time. However, both she and Mario noticed that everything was strange around them. The funeral home had arrived before them, making them think they had been called first. Furthermore, Luis's parents insisted that it was not necessary to perform an autopsy, arguing that Lisbeth was a very pretty young woman and it would be a shame to subject her to that. They also rejected the idea of holding a wake, ensuring that by burying her immediately, they would preserve her beauty. Mario and Katie opposed this idea and wanted to say goodbye to their daughter properly, with a wake in her memory in the presence of family and friends. The Armida family offered to organize and cover the expenses of the ceremony. From that moment, the real horror story began. During the funeral to say goodbye to Lisbeth's remains, Luis's attitudes caught Katie's attention. The man who had spent almost half of his life with the young woman did not approach the coffin where his wife was at any time, nor was he seen to shed a tear. On the contrary, he seemed to be at a social event, interacting with people as if nothing had happened. When someone approached him to offer his condolences, he responded indifferently, assuring that they were life's blows. Katie observed this situation from her place, and suspicions began to arise about the veracity of the story of the domestic accident. At that moment, one of Lisbeth's best friends placed her hand on Katie's shoulder to talk to her. He confessed that he had something important to tell her, but he preferred to do it after the funeral. Katie couldn't contain herself and insisted that her friend tell her everything she knew. It was then that he took her away from the crowd and learned the cruel reality. Lisbeth's friend revealed a secret she had kept for some time. After a few months of marriage, Luis had begun to be aggressive towards Lisbeth. He controlled her in everything she did, checked her phone to see her activity on social networks, and on occasions, he even attacked her verbally and physically. This made it clear that the man had been hired by the Hermida family and had falsified all information about Lisbeth's murder. The false doctor pleaded guilty and was arrested while when an attempt was made to capture the other members of the Hermida family, they had already fled. It was evident to Lisbeth Vaccarizzo's family that the Hermida family had a lot of political power 
since it was a family with a good economic position, and in addition, one of its sons belonged to the armed forces. However, the most serious thing was that they suspected that someone involved in the investigation was leaking information to them and warning them about the steps to follow, allowing them to escape in time. Mario and Katie Vaccarizo, advised by their lawyer, found no choice but to take the case to the media so that the population was aware of what they were going through and to make visible the irregularities committed by the state, which should guarantee them the right to receive justice for his daughter's life. After so much insistence and social pressure, the family managed to have the former prosecutor removed and someone else to take charge of the investigation. For the first time, almost a year after the loss of Lisbeth Vaquerizo, the Ecuadorian prosecutor's office raised a red alert to Interpol regarding the search for Luis Hermida Nunez. Furthermore, on August 11, 2021, he issued an accusatory ruling against the main suspect for the crime of femicide committed against his wife. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me your opinion in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss our next videos.